Okay, so there's a point of confusion that we're going to have that we need to clarify right now. Um, and that is that when most people think about the term acceleration, they think that that means that something is speeding up. If I'm accelerating, I'm speeding up. But in physics, that's not true. In physics, if I say acceleration, that only means that the velocity is changing. It could be increasing or it could be decreasing. Okay, and we oftentimes don't make that very clear. I need you to understand right up front that acceleration could either be an increase in velocity or a decrease in velocity. Okay, now if we have a decrease in velocity, we do give that a special name. We call that deceleration. I'm decreasing the velocity. Okay, I'm decreasing the velocity, so deceleration is the term that we use to describe slowing down. My velocity is decreasing, and it doesn't matter what the direction of motion is. Um, I, if I'm going, if I'm slowing down in the positive direction, I'm decelerating. If I'm slowing down in the negative direction, I'm decelerating. Okay. So it doesn't really matter. If I'm slowing down, I'm decelerating. Okay? So I need you to understand that. And again, that's as opposed to acceleration, which could either be an increase in velocity or a decrease in velocity. Okay? Acceleration doesn't just mean increasing velocity. Okay? Now, we also use the terms positive and negative acceleration okay if I have a positive acceleration the acceleration is occurring in the positive direction if I have a negative acceleration the acceleration is occurring in the negative direction it doesn't mean that negative acceleration is not the same thing as deceleration negative acceleration is acceleration in the negative direction Okay, so we have to clarify all of these things right up front, and I want to walk through this just to make sure that we understand this. Okay, so let's suppose that our first scenario is an object that's moving in the positive direction and it's speeding up. Okay, so if I write a motion diagram that describes this. Okay, so there's my origin, and here's my positive x direction. Okay, so object is moving in a positive direction, and it's speeding up. So short arrow, longer arrow, longer arrow, longer arrow. Okay, so there's an acceleration because it's changing its velocity, so there's an acceleration. And the direction of the speeding up is also positive. So we're going to say that the acceleration is positive. It's in the positive direction. And that means the, so the velocity vectors are increasing. The acceleration is also going to be in the positive direction. Okay, so it's not decelerating and the acceleration is positive. And this is a case that makes the most sense, right? This is what everybody thinks about when they think about acceleration. Okay, not decelerating, it's the acceleration is positive. Okay. Okay, so what about this scenario if an object is moving in a positive direction and is slowing down so let's draw that object is moving in a positive direction but is slowing down my velocity arrows are going to do this okay so, moving in a positive direction and it's slowing down, then the acceleration is in a negative direction and the object is decelerating. 
okay so acceleration is this way so velocity vectors are this way and acceleration is that way and we can see why this makes sense if we think about it if the acceleration was in the positive direction if the acceleration was in the positive direction then the object would in fact be speeding up in the positive direction so it takes an acceleration that's in the negative direction to cause this object to slow down okay now a way that we can always know what direction the acceleration is going in is if we write out what's happening to the velocity if we make our acceleration arrow arrow point toward the direction where the velocity lines are getting larger then that will always be the case even though the velocity arrows are pointing in the positive direction they're getting larger in the negative direction so that's the direction I should draw my acceleration arrow my acceleration will therefore be negative okay so if you always draw your velocity arrows to show what's happening then you can also immediately also draw an acceleration arrow to know what direction the acceleration is so if you were given um, uh, a fact that the acceleration was 5.0 meters per second squared for example and you weren't told that it was in the negative direction but you noticed that the object was slowing down in the positive direction you would know that you would need to put a negative in front of the uh, acceleration value okay so this is what's going on if the object is moving in a positive direction and is slowing down the acceleration is in a negative direction and the object is decelerating. Notice that deceleration is not the same thing as negative acceleration. Okay, so deceleration just simply means that it's slowing down. Negative acceleration means the acceleration is acting in the negative direction. Not the same thing, right? Okay, so go on to the next scenario. Okay, what about this situation? What if the object is moving in the negative direction and is speeding up what's the situation then so again we draw our motion diagram we have our positive values to the right and we know the object is in a negative direction it's moving in a negative direction and it's speeding up okay and it could cross over the line there Okay, so it's speeding up in a negative direction. Okay, so obviously this it's not slowing down, right? It's not slowing down. It's speeding up just in a negative direction. So it's not decelerating, and the acceleration has to be in the negative direction, right? The acceleration arrow has to be in the direction of increasing velocity arrows and this is the direction of increasing velocity arrows so this would be the situation where I have a negative increasing velocity which means my acceleration is in the negative direction okay Finally, if an object is moving in the negative direction and slowing down, the object is decelerating and the acceleration is in the positive direction. So let's draw that motion diagram. And so, object moving in the negative direction and its velocity arrows are decreasing in length. That means the acceleration arrow has to be pointing in the direction of the le increasing lengths of the velocity vectors so that acceleration has to be positive okay so it is decelerating but the acceleration is positive and this particular scenario can be especially confusing um, again the the motion is a velocity in the negative direction and it's a decreasing velocity so it's decelerating but at the same time the acceleration is in the positive direction and if you think about it if the acceleration was in the negative direction it would cause the object to speed up in the negative direction 
okay so this is that last scenario and hopefully it won't take you very long to, to uh, become a little bit more uh, comfortable with these ideas but they're very confusing at first unless someone sits down and, and tells you about them very explicitly like this so um, go ahead and uh, continue on with the um, the actual video